What? What the f- No way! It's dead weight! What's up, people? You know who I am. Actually, you probably don't know who I am. I'm the Kayak Man. We're going to do some fishing today on a local upsto upstate New <laughs> upstate New York <laughs> lake. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we're going to catch a pike. Uh, I'm aiming for a big pike, 40 plus inches. If it's not 40 plus, uh, it's a complete failure today then. And uh, I'm, uh, I'll just go home and, and never fish again in my whole life. So we better get that 40 plus inch fish. Uh, but he'd be fishing big lures in shallow areas. It's October 19th, I believe, today. So these fish um, start to come up shallow this time of year and uh, in the weeds and everything like that. And they get really active. So see all the leaves are starting to change. Yeah, this is the time of year to catch a freaking pike. Let's do it. All right, so guys, this is the spot we're launching in here. It's like this little back bay area, but it opens up into the main lake over there and it's, uh, it's a pretty nice, um, a pretty nice location because there's islands in a big shallow weedy area. Sorry, there's no fancy editing or anything today. I'm just gonna freaking, ooh, there's fish over here. I'm just gonna freaking launch and start fishing. And if I catch a big pike, you guys are gonna see it. Um, I'm just a lazy sack of today and I don't feel like doing any crazy B-roll or anything, but hopefully we get a big one and that'll be the entertainment. So, uh, We'll see you out in the water. We already just had something hit it. I don't know what it was, but we're in a nice little shallow bay area here with uh, some weeds in it. Just using this little bass colored jerk bait, tapping that or, or jerking it as you, as you might say. Water's getting colder, um, somewhere in the 50s. I would say. I gotta get out of here and go to those islands. So we're in some calmer, calmer water here by the island over here. Actually, there's this big island and then a smaller island over there. And there's pretty shallow and weedy water all around it. And so we're going to be fishing that. Um, it's pretty good pike water, so hopefully we can hook into that big fish. Still using that jerk bait here, but we might switch up soon. Put on a bigger bait, a flashier bait. Because uh, I don't want to mess around. But it takes a lot of casts to catch these fish. I had one guy comment on one of my videos. Because I went out in the rain here, like you said, and I only caught one pickerel. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know how many times I've gone out here? You know how many times I've, I've traveled up and down this lake in my kayak, paddling for hours and hours in the cold, shitty rain, and not even get a single bite? You think you just come out here and, and just get a 40-inch pike every time you fish? I mean, what do you think this fucking is? La La Land, there's a fucking bald eagle. Maybe it is La La Land or whatever. But but no, that's not how it works, man. You gotta keep trying to get even a pickerel. Well, you should be happy about that, my friend. These big pike are not... There's not huge numbers of them, you know? <laughs> that's the way it works. There's either tons of little pike or a few big pike in the lake and this lake has a few big ones you, you gotta cast a lot man you gotta cast again and again and again and again and again it's like musky fishing here for these pike until your arms are sore and lactic acid is built up so much that you can't make another cast right <laughs>
Pike on. Pike on. Holy smokes. Pike on. On the big, uh, on the big maps. Holy shit. It's a good one. I just had to make sure I was recording there, guys, but we got a big pike. It could be a 40-incher. What? What the f No way. It's dead weight. <gasps> no. No way. It's huge. Oh, it's huge. Holy shit. We got to tire him out a little bit. It's huge. <laughs> This is a medium heavy. He's dead weight on that. I'd never in my life felt a fish like that before. Oh my. Oh shit. I didn't even bring any lip grippers or anything like that. I'm probably gonna freaking get my arm taken off if I try to. We gotta let him run a little bit. He's not tired. He's not tired yet. Holy shit, guys. That might be 40. I don't know. It's it's just a very, very big, strong pike. And he hit this huge map. Holy shit. I'm just trying to tire him out a little before I attempt to bring him in. He's 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 probably hooked uh, pretty good, I, I think, because this maps has like six hooks. Let's just get him close, <laughs> just so we can see what we're dealing with. He's a big, yeah, he's pretty big. Oh, he's just fat too. Oh my goodness, he's not gonna like being handled. Whoa, ha <laughs> ha. It's fat, absolutely fat pike. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I don't think it's 40, but just it's just so massively muscular and beautiful of a, of a pike. Wow, I think we tired him out a bit, so I'm gonna, um, I, I gotta get these pliers out. He's gonna thrash again here in a moment. <clears throat> this is always the worst, worst part of catching one of these fish. Is having to unhook it. Um, I need to get a little more line out. He's gonna try to, I think we tired him pretty good, but he's, might, he might have a second. Okay, he's not hooked that bad. He's not hooked that bad. I don't want to get hooked either, though. No. Oh, shit. Okay, so these fish still are still in this lake. Oh, my gosh. Whew. I used to be less of a bitch when it came to handling these, but this summer after I got hooked in the hand a few times, I just don't want it to happen anymore. Oh, Jesus. Look at the size of this freaking thing. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, please, please just let me get this hook out of you, buddy, without anyone getting hurt. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, we got it. We got it. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's a heavy, uh, this is one of the heaviest pike I've ever caught. Look how fat it is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Hello. His stomach is just full of fish. He's like 30, over 30, but you can see. Wow. 
That's crazy. I'm gonna get a quick picture and release this beast of a, of a pike. All right, here's the release, guys. He's just so big. He's gotta be over, like he's like 10 pounds at least. And he just swims right down. That was sick. All right, let me show you guys what that was caught on. Just this big, <clears throat> big ass maps here. And a, a steel leader. It's like an 18 inch steel leader. Just reeling that thing in real slow and then all of a sudden, boom dead weight on the rod. I mean, I think I've caught longer pike than that for sure, but not heavier, not heavier. When it just went to the bottom and then and then held there, I, I really had never felt anything like that before. So let's keep casting and see if we can get another one. Well guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'm starting to get swamp ass and or uh, monkey butt, um, as they call it. So I'm gonna head back and uh, go home but i'd appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe leave a like and a comment and uh peace out